guys, it's Shadi and welcome back to the channel. So in today's video guys, I'm going to be teaching you how to make a detailed GFX in Blender 2.91. Requested how do I make the GFX in Blender 2.91, which is you need to have three things to be able to do that. First things first is you need to have Roblox Studio. So why do you need Roblox Studio? Roblox Studio is where you can get your background, you can get your props, you can get your models, and also you can get your avatar. So that's what's the use of Roblox Studio. Next thing is of course Blender. We use Blender to make our GFXs. We put in together the models, the background, the props, and also your character in that. And then lastly, you need is a rig. So what's a rig? A rig is like a skeletal figure where you can be able to put in the character's texture and then be able to pose it just like this one in my background. So that is what we call a GFX. So this takes time. It actually takes like 30 minutes or an hour to be able to pull this off. This image right here. It takes that a lot of time. An effort to do this so before we go and make a gfx don't forget to subscribe to the channel hit the notification bell so you get notified every time i upload the video and also hit that like button slap that like button first things first that we're going to be doing is open up our roblox studio i'm going to be opening up let's go to new and then click on base plate that's where we're going to be importing our character and our models. Now that we are fully loaded in, I won't wait for the... Okay, we're not fully loaded in. Let's go to plugins and then click on load character. And then type in your Roblox username. So my Roblox username is Chedi14. And then let it spawn to R6. Don't spawn it an R5 because when we hop into Blender, it wouldn't work. So here is my character, as you can see. So that's my character. So guys, comment down below if you want to learn how to change the hair or the face. I'm going to be doing a tutorial on how to do those. Okay, so we have imported my character. Next is the mod, the background. So you have different kinds of backgrounds. So we're going to be going to the toolbox and make sure that you are at the marketplace. Because that's where you're going to be getting your backgrounds and also it sh should be at models. So I'm going to be typing in bedroom. And then once you type bedroom, it has a lot of varieties, a lot of choices for you to be able to choose from. So I'm going to be choosing... <laughs> Or outdoor or a living room a kitchen it can oh I forgot guys the load character is where you can be able to load in your character from Roblox from of your friends or your commission or whoever is commissioning to you okay I'm gonna be picking this one Okay, I've chosen what background I'm going to be using. So this would be the background that I'm going to be using. Okay, now for that, now we already have the character and the background. If you guys want to know how to have the props, you can either type in the prop. For example, I want a bubble tea or a boba tea. Now... Just set it there. It's so small. Okay. <laughs> okay, now we already have the props, the background, and my character. So first things first is click on your character. Then over here at the explorer, right click, then export selection. Look for a folder where you can find the um where you can find the exported details i'm going to be using this folder so type in the name that's it and then after you've already exported the body 
click on the arrow beside your name and then click on head shift and then click all the head accessories and then right click again export selection and then just go to where you've saved the other or where you've exported the other one now that we're already done with the character let's go and export the background which is this one we're going to be exporting that so right click export selection and then just name it again that's it that's simple so that's what so that is how you can export the model of your background or the background for your gfx it's already done you can minimize that so it depends on you if you want more um, props you can just go back to roblox studio now let's go into blender and this is where the fun begins so double click on blender of course Nahulog yung ilaw ko. Anyways, go to file, just click anywhere and then delete this. Click on file, open, don't save, and then this ring. So the rigs would be in the description box down below. We have a woman rig, we have a box bloxy rig, we have a man rig, and also a boy rig. I don't know, I just named those things. I mean the tongue now if we've deleted all of that click on the arm right here and then once you see this item here my light keeps on falling okay <laughs> okay we're good so once we see the item here scroll up and then you'll see a plus sign left click and then drag it down there you go now click this the editor type click that then go to shader editor now zoom in to be able to find the texture which is this one and then open the folder open the folder where you've saved your character's um body which is this one this is mine so click that and then ta -da! So this is what your character is wearing. So this is what my character is wearing. And it's gonna be it's going to be the same. Don't mind this because it won't it will be deleted once it's rendered. Okay, now we're done. Now let's import the background. First things first is to go to file. Click on import and then click on wavefront.opj. Click that. Go to the folder where you saved your background. Double click. Make sure that you click the obj one, not the mtl, because that's not gonna work. So we're gonna double click the obj or just click open, and then we're gonna be waiting for it to load. Okay, I'm gonna double check it's complete. What I'm gonna be doing is use these tools like move, rotate, and scale. Scale, pwede ni palitin, papayatin, patabain, or make it fatter, thinner, you know. And then rotate, of course, like this. Move, of course, like this. Like that. <laughs> But as you can see, this one is not centered. It's so far away from the background. So what we're going to be doing is Fn, then click on F3. Then this would pop up. But you can also go to... I forgot this. Oh my gosh. Oh, okay. Go to edit. You can also do edit, then menu search, and then this would pop out. Then search for set origin. Once you've done that, click on Origin to Geometry, 
and now we're here so it won't be a hustle for you guys to be able now what we're gonna be doing is put the background on our character right here now I'm gonna be click on the character okay I've clicked <laughs> okay okay guys so we have already have our character with the background now what we're gonna be doing is posing our character like for like it's sitting or waving or even making the two peace sign two peace sign the peace sign and like it would be so much fun to do okay make sure when you click you the rigs have these things where you can be able to move your character's body like for example i can move her feet i can move her hand like so so make sure that you are in post mode because when you are in object mode you cannot move that it would just move the whole body so let's go to post mode and then let's make our character sit okay guys so i have finished posing my character so she is in a sitting position so next up is we're gonna be using or we're gonna be importing is the prop or the bubble tea or whatever prop you have or if you don't have a prop then we're gonna be importing the head but i'm gonna be showing you guys later that so it's just it's just the same thing wave front um file import wavefront.obj can make it shorter thinner and appropriate for the hand okay now just put it right where you want it to be it depends on you guys where you want the props to be i'm just gonna be putting this here okay guys so i have already put my boba tea or my milk tea in what we're gonna be doing is click here the snowballs here so we have the viewport shading which is what we're in and then we're gonna be going to viewport shading where is the render type so this is the material preview and then this is the render preview or what what it's going to be looking like so it looks like a little bit dark for me this is a bit dark so what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be do going to this globe here click on ambient occlusion and then just the color here it depends on you guys if you want to adjust the color here or make it lighter make it darker but I'm just gonna be using that and now it looks good it looks fine nothing is like um, shadowy if I'm not mistaken now before we go in and render this don't forget to import the head so just like the background the prop go to file import and then wave front then click on the head so this is my head okay just like earlier we go to edit menu search set origin and origin to geometry now we can rotate rotate the head Put in the head where is near the neck. Kailangan connectado sa neck. It should be connected to your neck. 
okay guys so it's already connected now what we're gonna be doing is adding a camera so click on the add click camera and then position your camera any type you want I'm just gonna be doing is I'm gonna be doing here and then click the video camera here like that or if you have a numpa numpad just click on zero but I don't have a numpad so I'm just gonna be clicking this and then just go here this like picture thing and then just adjust adjust it <laughs> adjust it I'm gonna be doing my resolution to 500 500 but if you guys want it to 100 190 to 180 I won 1920 to 180 it depends on you guys but I'm gonna be doing is 500 500 so we are perfectly done this is what my GFX would be looking like and when we go to blend when we go to the render mode it looks good okay now we have done that we are already done we have already set the lighting and also the camera next up we're gonna be doing is going to click render render image and then we're gonna be waiting for our um, We have done the GFX. Now we're going to be doing is click on image, save as, and then go to a folder where you want your GFX to be saved, name it, and then click on save. So this is going to be saved as a PNG. Save and you're done. So let's go where the you, you want it a little bit lighter, a little bit of a contrast. But if you want this, if you already liked it like this, then that's the final step for you guys so that is for all today guys thank you guys for watching and also you can send me your gfx in my instagram or in my twitter would be down below and yeah so thank you guys for watching don't forget to subscribe to the channel hit the notification bell so you get notified every time i upload a video and also hit the like button and that is it thank you guys for watching and i'll see you guys next time for another new video or a gfx video bye